I just think that back at home we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, Earth sure looks like a perfect world. the voice you just heard there is tech entrepreneur Jared Isaacman as he made history. He is the first private citizen to complete a spacewalk. Jared Isaacman is part of a four-person crew aboard the SpaceX Crew Dragon vehicle, which left Earth on Tuesday. The Polaris Dawn mission is focused on testing SpaceX's new spacesuits. In total, the spacewalk lasted 20 minutes in what is being called both risky and a giant leap forward in space exploration. And for more on today's historic spacewalk, we go to Dr. Philip Metzger, director of the Stephen W. Hawking Center for Microgravity Research and professor of planetary science at the University of Central Florida. He also spent 30 years at NASA working on space flight technology. Welcome, Dr. Metzger. Great to be with you today. Um, can you put today's events into context as it relates to space exploration, uh, both past and present? Yeah, this is a really amazing day. Um, not only do we have the most humans in space ever in history at 19, but it was also the first time that we had a private space flight do a spacewalk, and it's gone farther from Earth than humans have gone ever since the Apollo program. In fact, the two female crew members are the farthest that women have traveled from planet Earth in the history of the world. So. There are a lot of really cool things happening. Um, I would like to say that NASA had envisioned a day like this. NASA started a program called Commercial Crew and um, trying to do sustainable space exploration by helping the commercial side of space get started. Um, because if commercial space can begin to flourish, then it allows NASA to do mo more and go farther. And so the plan is working just like we had hoped it would. That is amazing. How does that make you feel? I mean, you've been working on this type of thing for such a long time and to see it actually happen. Yeah, well, this is really the most exciting time for me as a space professional. Um, I grew up on the space coast in Florida. I've worked at NASA ever since I was a, um, a graduate uh, right out of college and then working um, at a, as a faculty member in planetary science and space technology. So it's been about 40 years so far. And by far, this is the most exciting time in space. We're gonna have um, the fifth flight of the Starship, which is gonna eventually be a lunar lander. That'll be um, supposed to be taking off in a, in a month or two from now. Uh, they're gonna catch the rocket on the spacecraft using chopsticks as it attempts to come back and land. It's gonna be amazing. Um, we're gonna have the new Glenn rocket from Blue Origin flying for the first time. Um, there are just so many things happening. Going back to the moon, Mars exploration, SpaceX wants to build a city on Mars of a million people within a few decades. Um, we have commercial space companies getting ready to put up their own space stations, multiple companies building lunar landers. So it is a, an amazing time. Yeah, it really is. And also though, it's also a little bit dangerous to do this. Um, talk to us quickly about why spacewalks are considered risky. Yeah, so um, when you open that door and let all the air out of your spacecraft, you better hope you can get it shut again and get the air repressurized because if you don't, you've only got the little bit of air in your suit and you've got to come back down and land pretty quickly. Um, when you're exposed out there in space, if you got a rip or a tear in your spacesuit, you would lose pressure and it would be almost instantaneous death for the crew. Um, so uh, it, it's, it is quite a scary thing, but they've got these high tech spacesuits that they've been developing. Um, one, one unique thing about these spacesuits is they are developed to be mass manufactured, to be really inexpensive so that they can build thousands of them because we're expecting to have thousands and then tens of thousands of people going to space pretty soon. Oh, really incredible stuff. We only have maybe about 30 seconds left or so, uh, but I would love to get your final thoughts on all of this. Yeah, well, um, this was a great triumphant day for SpaceX. It's a great day for commercial space. I'm expecting the space economy to grow, um, be a trillion dollar economy within five or 10 years, well, about 10 years. Um, I think we're right on schedule for that. All right, Dr. Metzger, thank you so much for coming on and sharing all this with us. We really appreciate it. My pleasure.